today we're going to talk about a alternative method of transferring your jobs geoids coordinate systems code list whatever you have currently on your cs15 onto a clean and new cs20 so one method i've mentioned in the past is using the cable or wire and connecting your controller to your pc and dragging over all the folders that you want to put or transfer between the controllers. This method is a little bit easier and quicker. Um, it can be done in the field, doesn't require any laptop. All right, so here we have a CS20 that's completely blank. There's no coordinate systems, no geoids, no code lists, no um, jobs. And in the CS15, everything is current. So if I come over to jobs and I look at exactly, I've got a few jobs here. And if I actually go to properties of any of these jobs and I go to coordinate systems, I've got a bunch of coordinate systems I want to transfer over. All right, so where we want to do is we want to go to user, tools and utilities, and we're going to transfer user objects. So starting from the top of the list, what is it that I want to transfer? So if you have a code list, let's go ahead and transfer the code list, USB. So we're going to go from internal memory to SD card on all of these. And here's a code list. So I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to transfer the code list from internal memory to the SD card. Success. Do you wish to do more transfers? Yes. Let's go ahead and pick the next thing. Let's do coordinate systems, internal memory. Now we have a bunch of them here. I could say these are obsolete or they're all important. If I want to do all of them, transfer all objects of the selected type. That means every coordinate system that you see here will be transferred to the SD card. If I only want to do one or two, I uncheck that and then I would transfer each one that I felt was the only ones I cared about. But in this case, we're gonna transfer all the objects. So all coordinate systems would be there. Okay, so those have been transferred. What's next on the list? DTM jobs, device, dial up, format files. All right, if you have a format file, let's see if I have any format files. No, nope. see how it says none? That means I have no format files on the CS15 back format files what else geoids let's bring over all the geoids because the geoids do not come for the ride when you're transferring coordinate systems so let's take a look at all the geoids i have i have a bunch of geoids so you know what i'm going to transfer all my geoids so i'm going to say okay do i want to transfer more yes what else jobs i want all my jobs let's see how many jobs i have i'm going to take these four for the ride all four of them matter again if I don't only want one or two, I can only, I can, don't check this, just pick the ones I want. But in this case, I'm gonna transfer all my jobs. And what else? And if you have any road jobs, working styles, I would not transfer your working style because the CS15 is a little different than the CS20 and I'm not really sure exactly if the working style would work. So the working styles should be loaded on the CS20 already. So just to run through the list again, I'm doing mainly the most important are your coordinate systems, geoids, and jobs. So once you've done that, you can escape from there. Now what we wanna do is take the SD card out because we transfer it to an SD card. You do have the option of transferring it to a USB or an SD card, whatever works best for you or what you have available. Just make sure your SD card or yes, USB is clean. Uh, you don't want to transfer files that have been there from a year ago. Uh, you want to make sure that you, you're transferring the, the most current up-to-date um, files or jobs onto the SD card. All right. Okay, so I've taken the SD card out of the 
CS15 and I've put it in the CS20 and as soon as I put it in there the jobs pop up uh, with a little SD card um, icon but we want to transfer these jobs to the internal memory so we're going to come over to settings tools transfer your objects jump to the top of the list you could pick all objects and everything that's on the SD card will go for the ride but I like to just do it by hand so let's do code list and this time we're going to go from SD card to internal memory so let's take a look at the code list we have a code list say okay and okay do you wish to transfer more yes what's next we did coordinate systems so let's see what we have on coordinate systems there's all the coordinate systems we transferred to the SD card so this we're going to transfer all objects so we're going to check again you can pick one or many um, individually and just uncheck this and pick them one at a time or you could do all the uh, coordinate systems and so we're going to say with this box check we're going to hit OK now all my coordinate systems have been transferred all right now I'm going to go what else what's next geoids Let's pick all the geoids there's all my geoids I'm going to check the box SD to internal memory OK yes what's next jobs let's pick all our jobs here's the four jobs that I transferred over so I'm going to check transfer all the jobs um, if you do have linked jobs you could turn that you could do check that on but we're just going to say transfer all objects again SD to internal memory all the jobs will go and if I say yes one more time I don't think we have anything else to transfer again we talked about working styles not being transferred so now we go back to our home screen now you notice that this job has is here twice if your jobs do not show up just reboot your controller or at least escape and come back into captivate and your jobs will be loaded but if they're not uh, and if they are then you can see how they're in here twice so this means it's on the SD card this means with nothing here that they're on the internal memory all right so now if I go to properties of any job and I go over to coordinate systems you can see all the coordinate systems are loaded if I pick any of the coordinate systems and I go to edit geoid models should be loaded if if no geoid models are loaded just go to hit him import and it will import all the geoids that were um, on the SD card and then just back out of it so make sure your geoids are loaded too sometimes they're sitting on import but they're not listed okay once you've done that you can pull the SD card and now everything you have on the CS15 is now on your CS20